to talk to you about, what am I here to talk to you about today? Oh, I was going to talk to you about um, collective pieces within a handbag. Now, some of you will be like, Beth, who cares? Ah, uh, well, you know, it's my channel, so if you don't like it, you, you can not watch it. But I thought some of you might enjoy this. You know, I'm liking my pretty golden earrings. They're not real citrines, but I like them. I really do. Okay, so, what are we doing? I'm going to show you an example of something that I have. I have, let's see, one, two, three, three Brahmin handbags. A black one, a multi uh, media one, I guess is what they call it, different um, textures like snake, alligator, and lizard. I'm not sure if any of them are real animals. Um, it's just maybe the imprint on the leather. Um, and then the other one is kind of a um, little um, shoulder bag, and I'm not quite sure it's black with pecan leather. Anyway, so I decided to pick out one of my favorites out of my Brahmins, and Brahmins is a pretty reasonable priced handbag. How y'all doing? Mm -hmm. I have my little um, crown Victorian fine bone china that I got from one of the uh, Russian pastors that came here to the United States. And what does he and his wife do but buy me china from a local shop? And they were poor. It broke my heart. I mean like, not broke, but it touched my heart because I was like, you know what? They don't have anything and they're buying me a gift. And they brought me chocolates. Okay. So I picked one of my favorite um, Brahmins. This is the Duxbury Large Satchel, I think is what this one's called. And it's a pretty color. This is called Pecan. And um, on this side, it shows you where your uh, cell phone can go down in there. And uh, when you can sign, i got so much stuff in here. That's the point. That's what I was going to show you. Uh, you've got the zipper. You've got a jewelry pouch. You've got uh, two pin holders. You've got two pockets for cell phones. And then it's just open. And it also has the um, strap for a shoulder bag. So what was I going to show you? It's nice when you have a nice piece like this. Um, this is around $200. Uh, you can get it at Belk or you can get it at... Um, I got mine at, was it Dillard's? I think it was Dillard's. Anyway, or was it Belt's? Or was it online? I don't know. But anyway, um, my husband was the first one to turn me on to Brahmin. And I really do think it's it's nice leather. It's a nice, he says, it seems like a nice lady's bag. And it does. It's a really nice lady's bag. Whatever that means. And um, so I had taken this, which is my Lily Pulitzer little notebook that I got from my boss for a coupon for Ulta. Is that past due? It's not. I'm going to order something. Anyway, so this is all my work for the day, and what I'm doing is transferring it over to my really pretty one, which this is, I ordered um, the matching. This is what I was talking to you about. Just kind of it's nice to have things that are matching, so that's what I'm going to be showing you. So this is the matching notebook. It's the same inside. It's just regular ruled paper inside. I'm sure you can get it refilled. It wasn't but like $45 and this is probably about $20. So for double the price you get real leather and a really nice looking piece that matches. The other thing that I got was the makeup pouch. And this is a little small for me. I'll hold this next to my face. It's pretty, you know, it has the plate that says Brahma, it's the same beautiful leather. It really does smell nice. It's got the chamois um, stuff inside and it's got a little pocket and, which I don't understand what that would be there for, um, but I will probably not use this for makeup because this is way too small, but what I will use this for is my electronicals. So I will put my earphones, I will put my um, charging cord and plug, I will put my Moshi uh, microfiber wipe and um, the little stuff in there, little spray stuff for that. So I'll keep all that in here. Or I sometimes have made this into my little Medi pouch. Y'all know I have a little Medi pouch that includes Tums, a breather, some ibuprofen, band-aids, antiseptic wipe, alcohol wipe, 
the list of any drugs that I'm currently on by the doctor, anything like that. So I could do either way. I can make this um, electronicals or I can make this a medi pouch. But again, when you make it match, it just it's so nice when everything's matching and it wasn't that much more. I think this is like, I don't remember, but it wasn't much. It was less than $50. Um, and some of you go, well, Beth, I could never add up to that. Well, I got a little piece here and there because also pick a color that's going to be around a while because this is pecan. It's one of their favorites. And so I knew that I could order, like I ordered this piece later than all these other pieces, but I knew they would have pecan. So this is kind of like the wristlet. It's a large wristlet. So you see the little, little wristlet piece. You see the zipper here. So you could keep your, um, I don't know so many ways you could use this. You could keep your credit card and license in here if you just did not want to be going inside here all the time. Keep it on the outside. But if you do want to go inside, um, uh, one of the other things that I ordered was the little um, credit card wallet. And that's all it is. It's just a little credit card wallet. And all it does is hold your ID, your major credit cards, because I'm trying to get away from having any. So I just have my Amex and my debit. I'm not keeping my MasterCard and my Visa, my Barneys, my, any of my other cards that I have. Just keep my Amex and my Visa. Amex so I can build points to travel on and my Visa debit card just because it's my banking card. But my regular Visa, my MasterCard, my Nordstrom, my Barneys, all those I'm getting rid of. I paid them off and I'm getting, I'm putting them in the drawer. I don't know if y'all saw that last time. But I like this because it just has a little, um, you know, a little strap with a button to make sure that it doesn't fall out and it also has a zipper for any kind of change or whatever you want to put in there like flossing sticks like I always put in but anyway and then you can put your purse I mean your um phone in here you can put a couple of makeup items it's got zip pouches it's got a flat pouch and it's again it just all matches and these are all kind of not that expensive pieces but it just makes it look really really elegant to have everything in one pattern and make it look nice that it matches and I think that's it Oops. this isn't in the right place but this is from Levenger I don't know if I've shown you guys this before but it's just a little um, you undo that and you wrap the cord around it and then you wrap it back up and it keeps it from being all tangled up and I really love this it comes with this little piece where you could put it on your keychain like I would really want to put that on my keychain but anyway you could and so that will go with my electronicals if I, that's how I so choose to use it. There's my glasses. I never know where they are. Um, but anyway, so you can use all these different pieces. And again, uh, when you're not using the handbag, I recommend that you use the, um, this is the Brahmin um, bag. What am I trying to say? It's not silk because it's that chamois thing again. Anyway, you stuff this. You don't put the bag in this. You stuff this and put this in the bag to keep its um, shape. And then I put this in a case, whether it is, I actually have a china cabinet and I don't have any china. So I put my handbags in it. And um, I have it up in the guest bedroom and that way, um, you know, I can keep the bag really, really nice, but I can still keep its shape. If those of you who say, well, I don't have any kind of cabinet, all I got is the top of my closet. That's what I used to do. And, um, what did I do? I had every bag in its little pouch. The only thing I didn't like was because I couldn't see what it, what was in it. But if you just have a few and you know what's in it, like you know, well, that's my brother, or that's my coach, then you can just put that in your top of your closet and put this in your, um, in the, um, I want to say silk pouch it comes in, but that's not what I'm, I, why am I losing words again? I hate when I do that, you guys. Anyway, so this particular one, again, this is the Duxbury Large Satchel, and it's just a really good size. I also have the Rosette um, series, and it's just about that many inches, no, about that many inches shorter, and all, this makes all the difference in the world. This is like the perfect size for me. Because I like to have a substantial bag. And the other one is a ladies bag. But it, And again, these are so delicate. Like, it's just so thin. And this chamois material is just so delicate that I want to mess it up. I don't want to get my lipstick near anything. That I don't use them that often. And that's why you may be going, Beth, I've never seen that bag of all your what's in my purse videos. 
Uh, that's because as much as I love this, I really do. I love this. Uh, I don't use it that often because I'm afraid of messing it up. But because I have all my pieces, I've decided I am going to use this more. Good gosh, I put all the money into these little pieces. Four little pieces. And again, I got the little journal, which I don't know if it has an agenda cover or not. Because y'all know I have my um, I have my Erin Condren day planner, which I'm fixing to do a um, plan with me. Mm, mm, mm. Um, but this wristlet's kind of a large wristlet, so I it wasn't ever intended to go actually in that purse, but you know. And then this is kind of small for me for a cosmetic bag, but maybe I need to tone it down or either use this as electronicals or maybe bag and let this be my um, cosmetic pouch. That's probably what I'll do. Have a simple wallet and I'm done. So that's just like nice. So anyway, that's all I have for you today. Yep. Some of you may be going, Beth, that's not very exciting just to tell me how I should have matching pieces in my wallet. And it doesn't have to be a Brahmin. It can be anything. You know, um, when I go to um, Dillard's or I go to um, Belk's or any place like that, they usually have all kinds of cute little handbags. And then you just go and match the colors up and just kind of make it all look like a cute little collection. That's what I meant, a collection. So that's all this was. Let's talk to you about handbag collection pieces. And I'll see you again on my next video. So I'll have to say goodbye, but I want to drink some coffee. Mmm. That's so good. Alright, so bye!